Call of Duty Zombies, but recreated in Roblox using AI. And this guy right here is the first step. In this video, we're building our own COD style zombie mode inside of Roblox with ChatGPT. Yep, you heard me, the entire game. That includes the guns, the zombies, and the game's entire framework. So stick around and consider subscribing as these videos take a really long time to make. Anyways, let's get on to the video. Alright, so the first thing that I did was ask ChatGPT to make me a first person gun script that also shows your arms when you're in first person and the ability to shoot when you left click. Okay, and for the first prompt, this isn't too bad. We can work with this. Uh, we gotta go back to ChatGPT and revise this script a little bit. Obviously, it's buggy, but as you can see, when we left click, it actually does shoot and there is something on our screen that kind of represents a hand. And with my insanely good prompting skills, I told ChatGPT to make the viewport arms instead of a part, and I don't really know what I meant by that, but it did give me a script. And it actually worked, but wait, that's not right. Then I realized all I had to do was just flip the arms around, and then I did, and yeah, it, this is what it looked like. It looked fire. Then I told ChatGPT to make it move my arms up and down when I walked, and the code was buggy the first time, but after the second try, we actually got it to work, and this is what it looked like, and it did actually work. So as you can see, when we walk around, our arms bob up and down, and with that done, now is a great time to actually add the gun in the hand. So let's go over to ChatGPT and ask him to do this for us. And of course, I'm not going to give you guys all the boring details, but I asked ChatGPT to attach the gun to the arm. Then I absolutely robbed this model from the toolbox and then welded parts in the model together with weld constraints. And if you're confused, welding is basically just like gluing parts together inside of Roblox. Anyways, the gun was too tiny, so I scaled it up, and then I positioned it onto the arms of the character. And dude, I was so happy with this result. Because not only was it super smooth, it also looked like I didn't even use AI to make this. And yeah, there are some bugs, but we can get these quickly fixed with ChatGPT. So for the next prompt, I asked ChatGPT to make me a crosshair in the center of the screen, and also fix the bug where it shoots double. And so about 20 minutes later, I was able to get a much better result than the last, and as you can see, there's a crosshair sitting in the middle of the screen and my bullets don't fly all over the place anymore. But something was missing, so I jumped back into ChatGPT and asked it to add recoil to the gun and modularize all my weapon data so that I can add more guns later without breaking everything. And here's the module script that holds all the gun data. Some notable ones to mention are the damage, fire rate, range, bullet speed, recoil strength, and shoot sound ID. I then used Roblox's audio library to find a sound for the gun. And yeah, that's the one that I went with. And this final result was really impressive. As you can see, the recoil works perfectly and we can actually damage players now. But players aren't the ones that we want to damage. Soon enough, we're going to add zombies that we can attack and add a wave-based system. So stick around to see how that turns out. But for now, we're going to continue working on the gun system since it isn't quite done just yet. Anyways, back over in ChatGPT, I prompted the AI to create us an ability to right-click to aim down our weapon. Once the scripts were done generating, it went back into Roblox and this is what it looks like. Super strong clean. As you can see, when I right click, the gun lines up with my camera. I polished things up by adding two upgrades. I went back into ChatGPT and had it add an FOV zoom when scoping so everything pulls in closer. Then I added an accuracy value that increases when scoping. If you're not scoped, your accuracy is wider. But if you scope in, your shots become much sharper. We're finally done with the rifle, so next I wanted to make a sniper. Luckily, all the base systems were already in place, so it was just a matter of copy and pasting in the module script. And since all our gun values are organized in there, adding a new weapon is really easy to do now. And this is really important because I end up adding some really sick guns later on, so make sure you stick around for that. Now that we've built the rifle, sniper, and polished the shooting system, it's finally time to bring this project to life. Weapons are cool, but they're pointless without something to fight. So next, let's build the full zombie AI system. The first thing that I did was ask AI to create me the zombie script. Then I paired that with the GUI on screen that shows what wave you're on, how many zombies are left, and how much health you have. Then I created a part called zombie spawner, which handles where the zombies spawn from. As you can see, it worked pretty nicely, but if we want these zombies to feel even more realistic, we're going to have to tweak a couple of its behaviors. So I went back into ChatGPT and buffed their AI like crazy. Crazy, giving them the ability to pathfind around walls now, and I'm really happy how this turned out. I also added less notable changes like shift to sprint, and I also redid the UI on screen so it looks a little nicer. Then I found this running animation from the toolbox, and then I gave it to the zombies so it makes them look a little bit more alive. Oh, and I also made it so that when you shoot zombies, blood splatters out of them. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was having way too much fun playing this game as I was testing. And I mean, just look at this, look how awesome this gameplay looks. And I promise, it only gets better from here. Next, I added some better graphics, and then I 
also ask ChatGPT to make me an ammo GUI, and this balances everything out. No more spamming with your gun. I got tired of the regular base plate, so I decided that it was time to start making the actual map. I started off by resizing the base plate and recoloring it as well. Then I got these chain fences from the toolbox, and I didn't really know what I was going for. I threw some ideas here and there, but then I saw that someone told me to make a parking garage, and I thought that was an amazing idea. The parking garage came out great, and my favorite part was that you can go up to the top floor to shoot from. Then I wanted to add some variety to our arsenal, so I added another gun to choose from the shotgun. And like I said before, it's really easy to add new guns. It's just a matter of copy and pasting, and yeah, there we go. We got the shotgun. Then I took a break to play some Clash Royale. Subscribe if you want to see this in the next video. And then I created this little ran down convenience store next to the parking garage just to make the map feel a little less empty. There was a slight issue though. When we played and we ran out of ammo, there was no way to actually get ammo back for our gun. So to solve this, I asked ChatGPT to make it so that zombies drop ammo when they die. And so now when you kill zombies, they actually drop ammo. The next thing that I wanted to do was give the zombies a skin, because right now they're pretty dull and they're really boring. Without any skin, they don't really look intimidating. Lucky for us, Mystique is one of my good friends and he actually blessed us up with some really fire zombie models, so shout out to Mystique. I thought this guy was really gross so I made him small and turned him into like a little baby zombie that just runs after you. And then I made this zombie huge and terrifying, just look at him. Then I built this trash mall but it was kind of cool because the top of the parking garage connects to the roof of the mall. It was also really important to me that this map had some detail because I really wanted this map to have some feel to it. But yeah, I spent most of my time just building and making sure things look a little decent. Now back to the zombies, there was this issue I was starting to feel face where the path hunting for the zombies would just completely break. And this was frustrating because I tried using ChatGPT to fix this and it just couldn't at all. No matter what I did, it literally could not fix the path hunting whatsoever. And yeah, ChatGPT ended up overcomplicating our path finding system, which caused a lot of lag and issues with our zombies. Luckily, Lemonade AI is one of the tools I use sometimes to help me out. So I decided to throw the problem at it. I went to their website, connected my Roblox Studio project through the Lemonade plugin, pasted in my problem, and with a couple of really clear prompts, it rewrote the movement system, removed all the extra junk, and push the new script straight into my game. It handled all that for me, and honestly, if you explain what you want properly, it can build entire systems for you. Thank you Lemonade AI for sponsoring this video, and thank you for helping me fix that really annoying bug. Next, I wanted the guns to feel a little bit more immersive, so I added this little gun whiz sound effect that plays when the bullet hits the ground or flies near a player. It's hard to tell in the background footage, but it makes the gun sound a lot better. Then I wanted to make it so that you can buy guns off the wall with money, just like Call of Duty. And so we did the usual, just prompting and pasting new scripts. And all we had to do was just create a part in workspace and position it wherever we wanted to sell the gun. And so now, as you can see, when we kill zombies, we're rewarded with money, which then can be used to buy new guns in certain areas of the map. It's also important to note that players can only now hold up to two guns at once. If they buy a new gun, the purchase is swapped with whatever gun they have equipped. Next, I changed the time of the map to be nighttime, made every street light have yellow lights instead of white lights, then I added tall city buildings on the border of the map. And yeah, these little changes definitely brought the game up from a 6.7 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10. The next thing that I wanted to add was buyable perks, just like COD, so I went into ChatGPT and created a little prompt to create perk machines across the map. And while it generates, all we have to do is set up a couple parts in workspace with the correct names, and the script will automatically put the proximity prompts in those parts. The last thing we did was create all the perk machines and spread them across the map. I also didn't bother making a model for each and every single one of them since that would take too long. Now with perk machines out the way, the last thing we have to make is buyable doors that can be used to unlock new areas of the map. So I went on over into ChatGPT just like before and used the same money stats that we just created to buy the guns with and told it to make a part where it attaches a proximity prompt to and if you use that proximity prompt and have enough money then it'll deduct the money and destroy the part. Alright so the game's finished now we gotta actually test it out and there's already zombies running after me oh my gosh. I don't want to waste all my ammo so I'm gonna really try to go for headshots here. There we go, and yeah, we got some ammo. So the first thing we gotta save up for is the door right there, that door that we just made. And the reason why I wanna go up there is because um, we can get the high ground and we can also go to the mall roof. I also have no idea where this last zombie, oh, there he is. All right, there we go. And here more spawning. Okay, we got another zombie. And got another, oh, two more. Hello. Oh gosh. Gosh, ammo. My aim is terrible. Oh my god. The headshots. They're all dropping ammo. This is perfect. Alright, well, we do have enough to buy the first door, so let's open that. We got more zombies up here. Okay. And this little guy right here, too. Let's kill him. Did they drop ammo? No, they didn't. It's really dark in here. I should have probably added lights here. I can hear more zombies spawning. I don't know where they are. But what I do know is that I'm up here at the top. And if. We actually 
do have enough for a shotgun, so I'm gonna cut through here and... As you can see, the results of the game came out pretty good, and I'm really happy how this turned out, especially because we use ChatGPT only. Maybe I can do a part 2 for this game and add more cool stuff. Thanks again to all my channel members, you guys are the best and I really appreciate you guys. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.